Howdy y'all. I'm going to load up some more of my 356 98 grain round nose flat point in the 380 today. We uh, proved out the test loads, you know, kind of got the powder where we wanted it. Uh, luckily, the powder charge that I'm going with, my number two rotor, and my little dandy throws it exactly. So that's what we're going to be using. Uh, we working on the Lee Classic turret. 231 and some CCI small pistol primers. All right, let me uh, get these things sized and primed and we'll be back. All right, we are sized, primed, and flared out. Let's get ready for the little dandy. And I really like when a little dandy throws exactly what you want. You can just come right up here. Just load them up. Ten of them that quick. Be right back. All right, they're all powder throwing. I usually just making sure they all look good to me. Set them on top here. Just like this, nothing to it. See Walter shot his test loads. Ran a really nice load right off the bat. You didn't have to shoot 30, 40, 50 rounds or even more, you know, like that powder didn't work, you know. <clears throat> uh, be seating with the RCBS seater and crimping with the Lee factory crimp die. It's 9.50. Right on the money. All right. We get the rest of these bullets seated. And we'll be back. All right. There it is. We are, we got 30 of them. These are from the first castings I did, so they're about, well, a couple weeks old now. So uh, they are to be good to go. I casted about 300 more today. Uh, Might have lost some. I had did about 300 or so powder coated a batch everything was fine uh, did the second batch and I don't know what happened but it just when I pulled them out and I started to push them off into the water the, the coating was stuck to the silicone mat and when it hit the water that the, the coating just blew off of it so I don't know if I, because the first batch, what I done was I pulled them out and I set them down and I took a picture of them. So they gave them a few minutes, you know, a minute or so to uh, maybe solidify it a little bit. I don't know. And then I dumped them in the water. Not a problem. They, they smash test everything. So 
Don't know what happened, but we'll see if we can't even salvage them. If not, we'll throw them back in the pot and make some more. All right. Uh, next stop is the range. We'll be back from the range on the 356 98. We uh, didn't do too good. I mean, I just I mainly was doing it for chronograph work, but uh, evidently my little dandy doesn't throw that 236 very consistently. I mean, I did two or three tests on it, and it was throwing right on my money, right on my money, and don't know what happened. <clears throat> Chronographs was showing 874 up to a, over a thousand, I think 1,040 something. It's like that's just that's not right. <clears throat> I know I can do better than that. I proved it in my first test loads. I don't know if y'all seen Walter V. Hales. He did an excellent group with his a uh, day or two ago. Uncle Jim's done really good with his so far. And uh, and I don't I don't even want to show the target, but I will. It was bad, <clears throat> all over the place. Uh, I don't know. We'll get some more loaded up when these other bullets age enough. <clears throat> and I'll hand hand weight all the charges out so we can go get some good chronograph numbers because I know it'll work. And <clears throat> kind of not really worried about. Blinking loads and stuff. I still got a box full of, of the Lee bullets loaded. I don't know. I probably got another 800 of those in the ammo can. So we got plenty of them, those. But now, as far as his big brother, the 452, 200 grand round nose, that's 50 shots. And a little low left, that's just me. <clears throat> Probably my little stubby trigger finger. But anyway, so we get some more loaded up and we'll we'll do another crony test. Thanks for watching.